Welcome back to the crazy world of cryptocurrency and in particular XRP, your daily update on what the heck is going on. So we're going to break down a couple of key things, an XRP ETF, as well as a very big announcement for XRPL and RLUSD. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. So we all thought it was coming. We've kind of been teased it, but guess what? Canary Capital now plans to launch its inaugural ETF. The first time it's going to launch one. Well, guess what? It's an XRP ETF. The S1 filing has gone in alongside Bitwise. Now, they were the first to launch it, but they have put it in. It's with the SEC, ultimately for approval. Now, before we all get a little bit ahead of ourselves, because people would say, hold on a minute, 2-bit. This is bullish news, but the price isn't doing anything. The reality is we're not going to see this until one of the big boys get involved. CBOE, BlackRock, Fidelity, someone like that, when they file an S1. That's what we saw with the Bitcoin, and that's what we saw with the Ethereum ETF. But obviously, people are waiting to see what happens. The Ethereum ETF's not quite delivered. The Bitcoin obviously going from strength to strength. It says here, Canary Capital plans to launch its inaugural ETF, and the firm moves to come just week after Bitwise. Brad Garlinghouse is overwhelmed by Wall Street Giants' efforts to launch XRP ETFs. Now, you have to understand the importance here. This is a big deal. Now, these are absolutely scrutinized by the SEC. They are at the absolute decision of the SEC. And if you think about where XRP's been, particularly Brad and Stuart and the, the whole kind of debacle we've had over the last number of years. Well, this is a wild sentiment, but here's the difference. Institutionalized money. The fact that people like Gary Gensler are probably involved in some of these big, big institutions makes it very interesting. Canary Capital's founder here, Vitaly, um, uh, so, excuse me, Valkyrie Funds co-founder Stephen McClurg filed his application on Tuesday, just a week after Bitwise. Quote, this is a big move for our company and signs of a more progressive regulatory environment and growing demand from investors. So clearly, there is a sentiment that they want to move to it. Now, it also, don't forget, we actually have a fantastic offer with Mexi right now. If you want to go and buy XRP, trade XRP, we're offering you 10% trading fee rebates by signing up with the link in the description. Again, we've got 8000 dollars of new sign up bonuses as well so if you're interested in trading futures buying your spot cryptos and everything else do check out the link for mexi down there in the description now what else have we got going on aligned to etfs which obviously is good news well there's one other big thing that is coming and that is rlusd and we've been talking about this for a while and now the xrpl getting its upgrades particularly around amms well they're now looking to be integrated into rlusd this is critical it gives us ultimately more use case and more flexibility to financial institutions, regulators, and much, much more. The XRP ledger has undergone a code review and enabled RLUSD integration with automated market makers with further updates pending. Ripple recently warned users to be cautious of scams as the stablecoin is not yet publicly launched. Now, don't forget, this is going to go to Ethereum as well as the XRPL as well. So as of now, we are known that it will be called RLUSD and we are available in the XRP ledger and Ethereum. Over the past several weeks, the team minted and burned thousands of RLUSD tokens as part of the private beta testing phase. The popular community figure VAT said XRP Ledger amended to allow clawback tokens like the upcoming stablecoin to be employed on the AMM. And this is a big deal. This clawback functionality absolutely aligns itself to more institutionalized banks and everything else. So I think this is a very clever play. More importantly, it's very smart in terms of what's being built out. And that's why people are now predicting that we could even see a 75% increase in the price of XRP. Now, it feels like it's been a minute. We'll take a look at the charts in just a second. But lots of people now predicting, given our sentiment, given the uptrend, and yes, I did say uptrend, that's with XRP, we could see a breakout. Now, we need to break above 55 cents. There is a critical box of around 50 to 55 cents that we do need to break out of. But again, lots of people now supporting a big push narrative for XRP. You take a look at the price, Bitcoin just hovering around this 60,400 mark. XRP just marginally up on the day, trading within this range we've been talking about, this consolidation phase, holding again the bottom end of this descending wedge, which I think is important. And again, this absolute pattern, we've talked about this pattern, this triple bottom pattern on this chart. We are expecting there for the break to the upside. This is generally how this pattern works. You have the three bottom marks and this is the big push to the upside. So again, Bitcoin forming the same, XRP forming the same. What's the difference? There's lots of build outs for XRP, lots of desire, lots of direction and lots of absolute sentiment about how do we get and integrate the financial markets, give them the best opportunity, the best tool out there 
And I think not only are you seeing financial and institutionalized adoption, given the fact that we have two XRPA ETF filings, you're going to see, in my opinion, an influx of these. You're going to see some demand for XRP. And we even have the Grayscale XRP ETF, uh, excuse me, the, the um, fund, which is kind of wow. This thing is growing from strength to strength as well. And I think it's important to reference this ultimately could be converted over as well. As of right now, it is over two million dollars absolutely wild. So there is a demand. Don't let anyone fool you. There is a demand for XRP. Yes, the price is suppressed. Yes, we haven't done what I think a lot of people hope that we would get a significant move. But understand, Wall Street's coming and it's already there in some cases. So expect a big push. But let me know as always in the comments down below, what's your view on all of this? Do you think XRP is going to be decentralized? Do you think it's got a big rally coming? And what are you doing? Holding, selling, or accumulating more? I'm dead interested to know your thoughts. Keep an eye on it. We'll obviously keep you updated with everything going on with XRP right here on the Tubit Crypto channel. All you need to do, hit that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on, sit back, relax, and we'll bring you some more videos. Thanks for now. See you soon. Bye-bye.